Hi, I'm cooking Apa. Today I'm actually in Sabah. I'm not in KL. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how to steam a prawn. Yeah, using garlic. It's actually a Cantonese style. And uh, beside prawn, there's something dark underneath the prawn. Here, you can actually see they are actually the glass noodle. Okay, so first of all, you need to buy one packet of glass noodle and soak it under cold water for a couple of minutes until it is soft, fully softened. Then you can actually put down, put at the, as the base of this prawn and uh, put the prawn on it. Now, what you do, what you need to do with the prawn is two things. Number one, you need to devein, devein your prawns. That's number one. Wash it thoroughly and then you cut it into half. This is one way, one, this way you can, it's actually much easier for you, uh, for the prawn to be cooked. Um, it should not take more than four or five minutes for all the prawns to be cooked, okay? No, never try uh, to overcook your prawn. Okay, now we have the first level, which is the glass noodle, the, the softened glass noodle. Second level will be the prawns, okay? Now I'm putting the third level here, which is actually chopped garlic, a lot of chopped garlic here. You're going to use a lot of chopped garlic, this is actually Cantonese style, Hong Kong style. If you go to Hong Kong, you can actually find this dish very easily. Depending on your personal liking, okay? I'm a garlic person, so I'm going to put, put quite a lot. You can put much lesser. There's about two small garlic here, actually. About maybe one and a half. Okay. This is, then we have the next level. I have here a chicken stock. I have one glass of chicken stock here. I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of soya sauce. Soya sauce. Okay, light soya sauce. And about half tablespoon of rice wine I'm going to add in a pinch of salt and very quickly you give it some stir now you will usually if you really want to uh, steam a prawn you don't really need such a big portion of gravy but today notice I actually put one extra level of glass noodle underneath so I'm actually going to make a bit more gravy so that later you can actually eat your your glass noodle as well yeah it's like a like a soupy dish quickly you pour all this over if you have uh, some white pepper you can also add some white pepper on top okay but if you don't it's okay I have some fresh coriander for garnishing later okay Okay, now you see here, I have actually one whole, boil one hot pot of water. And I'm going to put my prawns inside and cover it. Make sure you're on high heat, okay? The hottest fire and let it for at least about three to five minutes depending on the amount of your prawn and depending on the size of your prawn uh, because I have actually two three layer of prawn on this particular plate on this particular plate so uh, I'm going to steam it like minimum four to five minutes okay we'll come back after this okay now it's about four minutes plus yeah, you don't want to overcook your prawn, alright? Let's see what do we have here. Wow. Okay, it is definitely fully cooked. I actually have a bit of extra gravy here. Let me quickly add it in. Right. We remove it from the steamer. Okay. Now 
Okay, we have removed this from the steamer. Very nice fragrance here. I hope you can smell this very quickly. I garnish it with some chopped cilantro. If you have a bit of white pepper, you can also add in some white pepper here. Okay, there you go. We have some steam. You have some steam prawn here. And if you like my video, please share my video out to your friends on your Facebook. Also come to my Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click the both the like and following button and go to my YouTube. Uh, if you want to watch my video more than once, please go to view it on my YouTube rather than my Facebook page. Okay? And, um, and click the subscribe and notification button and go to Instagram to follow Cooking Appa. Thank you very much everyone and Happy New Year to all. Thank you. Bye-bye.